Tony Bolstead. I'm with the Ginger and SES at the time of the flood, operating the flood boat. We were getting calls into the local SES headquarters requesting for assistance across several rivers. Uh, people were, were, were stranded in several places. So we would formulate the day before, we would work out how many calls we, would, we were looking at, how many people we were looking at. In a mill pond situation, we can carry about eight people. When you've got fast flowing water, we generally not go back to about six people. But December the, the 12th was when the, uh, the heavy rain started. We then got a call for sandbagging duty uh, December the 12th, early in the morning. By mid-afternoon, we had our first calls for the Perry River that started coming up. So we put in four metre markers. Uh, they were gone two, day, two days later. Uh, the water had gone over the top of them. We continued every day, 12 hours a day, for 10 weeks, covering several areas, several rivers. The needs that folks required were the basic standard, you know, your milk, your bread. When the situation started prolonging itself and we got into the Christmas time itself, then we were starting to ferry um, uh, grandparents, etc., across on the boat with the Christmas presents. Also around that same time, uh, animal feed was getting short. It was, it was becoming uh, very much like a, uh, a little curious service as such. But without it, those people would not have survived. When we had the 4,000 people stranded in our town when the highway was cut north and south, the council opened up the local RSL, the uh, CWA. Uh, they all pitched in and they, they started feeding these people. It was just incredible, the, the amount of uh, community spirit.